Hey guys, what is up? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. And today I have a super fun video. I did a dueling thrift trip, thrift challenge <laughs> with one of my friends down in Maryland, Rebecca Allison. I don't know if you follow her, but you have to after this video. We're gonna share some of the things that we found and then head into the thrift haul. So stay tuned and let's go. All right, guys, I have Rebecca here with me and she's down in Maryland. She is my American friend and we always talk everything thrifting. So today, of course, we had to do a video together. All right, Rebecca, I want to see what did you find on your thrift trip? So I went to my new favorite thrift store. It's called Second Avenue Thrift, but actually they merged with Savers. So now it's going to be a Savers. So we both ended up going to Savers. So ah. very exciting, <laughs> but I always find the best things at this thrift store. It's right near Baltimore. So I feel like I find some of those pieces. I am literally so excited for this. I have never found this brand before. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Should I make you guess what this is? Hmm. It it, is it like a, is it a Ritzia? No, but it does look like it. This is Veronica Beard. Oh my God. Right? Look at that. I've never Damn. found that brand. Me neither. And I was just going through the dresses and I was like, are you kidding me? And I couldn't. Like, I'm a little speechless thinking about it. They marked it up. They marked it up to $17, but $17, we are happy to pay it. I was so yes. excited. That was my first thing I found. And Have I was you like, searched comps on it. <laughs> yes, I did. Of course I did. Yes. One that was new with tags recently sold for like $300. And then there's a lot of solds for like 150 to 180 ish. So I was like, oh my yes. God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is awesome. I know. I'm getting like sweaty thinking about it. I was like, oh my gosh, she's <laughs> so good. <laughs> that was the first thing. And then this other thing, I'm not like a jeans kind of gal. I used to hate finding them. Every time I go to this thrift store, I look in only the jeans first because they have the best jeans. Now these, they had no idea what they were. I had no idea what they were, but I saw this like little metal, like kind of like, it's almost like a snake. Is that what they call that? Like where it chevrons into each other. It's a really nice metal piece. And so I was like, oh, yeah. what yeah. is this? I looked at the button and it says St. Laurent on it. So I found a pair of Eve St. Laurent jeans. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, what is happening to me? Okay, what do they retail for? Oh, gosh, they retail for, I think it was like something like $800, probably right around there. Yeah, Ooh. it was crazy. But the Go little, on. like, right, the little um, brand tag, they must have taken off because it was uncomfortable or something. The thrift store didn't know what they were. So they marked these at $7.29. Crazy. That's and good. <laughs> I know. And That's they're 33% good. off. So I got them for $5. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it was. Oh, um, you had some scores. I did. So those are my two favorite things. Should I have saved some of them for my haul? Maybe, but I just couldn't. I, I'm literally so excited about them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca, for coming on here and uh, make sure you go and check out her video. All right, guys, stay tuned. Let's go through the rest of this thrift haul. I just got off work and I'm going to try and go thrifting. See that, Valley Village? I don't know what to expect because it is Senior Tuesday and I'm really, really hoping that I find some good stuff that they've like done some restocking throughout the day. I'm like channeling the good juju. Come on, we can do this. Let's go in and see what we can find. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. I was never the 
one to give it the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give it 'cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. Myself, and I'm thinking out loud. We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well. I will always be by your side. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you. Making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna. Try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. All right, let's go over what we're not taking today. First item is a pair of Lulu lemon pants. They were only ten bucks, which is actually pretty reasonable for this store. But they're just an older style. They were kind of like a low rise. And uh, I'm just not gonna grab them today. Next up is another pair of Lulu pants. These were $23. Uh, again, they were an older style and also crop. And I didn't like the crop of them. That's the main reason why I'm not grabbing them. I'm leaving some Lulu today. These are some Eddie Bauer pants. I think if they would have been a better price, they were $10.50, I would have grabbed them. Eddie Bauer is a brand I always grab, but yeah, I wasn't just, I just wasn't too big on the price of them. Next is another pair of Lulu pants. These were like a lower rise as well. And just looking at that detail, I know they're a little bit of an older style. So I'm going to leave them. 23 bucks. Not today. Oh, what size? I'm going to try and see. Yeah, no, not today. <laughs> another pair of lulus and these were $15 they were kind of like a camo style and again another like lower rise pant I'm gonna leave them I don't know why they're marking these ones up so much like I feel like if it was $10 and I had that coupon that I would probably grab them but not at 15 and these ones I don't know does anyone recognize this tag it says FT on the zipper pull I thought maybe they were figs but I don't know they kind of reminded me of figs but I couldn't find a tag in them there was no other marking they were ten dollars I stick them on my cart but I don't end up grabbing them and then these ones this is ascend is the brand I tried to look it up I couldn't find any comps on them it was a really cool hiking skirt I don't know what the value would have been on it and paying ten dollars is a bit much and then this one is a mountain equipment co-op jacket i usually love this brand and i don't know it's a older style definitely like probably late 90s early 2000s and it had a fleece back i think if it would have been that red material the whole jacket i would have grabbed it and then down to some shoes these were piccolinos they had like a foam sole they just didn't feel like great quality that i that i normally grab from them and they were 15 bucks these ones are Teos. I've sold these before, but they typically only sell for like 40, maybe $45. And they were asking 17 bucks for them. Crazy. Still like a really good shoe and another pair of Teos. Uh, but I'm just passing because the profit margin isn't very big. I think if I was able to grab these for a couple bucks, I definitely would be picking them up. Same with those Piccolinos. I think if they were a couple bucks, those would be yeses. But today, that's what I'm leaving. Oh my 
my gosh, I cannot believe what I found. I'm gonna do a haul in the car as soon as I get there because this is crazy and I am not waiting till I get home to go over all this stuff. So many great finds and I really had low expectations. <laughs> all right, where's the car? I am gonna go through this in the car. I'm not even waiting till I get home because there's so many great pieces. First item that I grabbed are these Lulu pants and they're kind of like a crop capri. They have a lot of pilling on them, but I know I can sweater shave those up and get them looking brand new. And they're in a size 12, so that's why I grabbed them. They were priced right. I feel like they'll move pretty quickly. I also found this Lululemon uh, Swiftly, Run Swiftly, Swiftly Tech. You know what I'm talking about. Blue tank top. It's in a size four, really good condition, like really, really good condition. No staining, no pills, nothing. Happy with that. I know I say I don't grab tank tops, but for this one, they tend to sell, I don't know, probably in less than two weeks. And I should be able to make 15 to $20, which is a little bit less than what I always say my profit margin is, but I have exceptions. And I really like picking up these tank tops. I just feel like they're a nice addition to my closet to bring people that like Lulu in. This is a very cool vintage find. I knew I was grabbing it as soon as I seen it. It's like a cotton button down top, but it's the pattern that has me like, look at the pattern on it. And you can almost, I don't know, can you guys like almost see the texture on it? It is, I don't want to say it's luxurious cause it's not, but it just gives me this really like, I don't know, summer on the beach with a pair of shorts and like a crop top. And this over top, this is the vibe it gives me. And what's the brand? Rodier? I don't know. Maybe you recognize it. I don't, but yeah, it's just such a cool print. Love the print. Haven't been picking up as many vintage items lately. And I feel like it's kind of left a hole in my thrifting heart. So, oh, I'm saving those for last. That is like the biggest find. It's so crazy. Uh, I grabbed these. I'm going to save them. I'm going to wash them and save them for fall, but they're just a pair of Sorrel boots. They're the Hudson Bay ones and inside they have the Hudson Bay stripes. I don't know if there's any additional value to them. They were just marked the right price. They're quite dirty, so I'll have to give them a bit of a wash, probably toss them in the washing machine. But I feel like these will probably do good in fall, later summer. Nice fall boot. And they're in a women's size 7. Maybe one of my kids will wear them. We'll see. We'll see if that hits the posh closet. Next up is a pair of North Face women's shorts. These were in a size 8. Actually, I think my camera is dirty. These are in a size 8. They have the North Face. They're almost like a Bermuda short, which I really like. They're definitely a newer style, so I feel like those will do well. I've been selling quite a few hiking shorts and pants, and it's kind of the vibe I'm going for in my closet right now, is I just want to have like a ton of outdoor stuff. I'm going to need some help with these. There's no tag that I can find in them. They're a pair of Lulu pants. This is the back of them. I don't know if you're familiar with these. If you know the style, drop them in the comments. I've tried to figure this one out before. I've actually found this pant twice before. Usually it's damaged. This is the first time I found them and they're not damaged. I just think they're kind of unique. They're, they're cool. Good pricing. I definitely had a ton of Lulu stuff and I only grabbed the stuff that I felt was kind of recent and in great condition. Anything that's like definitely older style or very worn and in small sizes, I was leaving today. This is another one of my favorite finds. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like Southwestern Sherpa Aztec vest. I do not find this print very often and I don't even know if I'm going to sell this. I might keep it for myself for a bit. A nice uh, fall, like summer fall item just to wear with like a sweater or a long sleeve shirt. Perfect for at the lake to wear like over a hoodie. Oh, this is definitely not hitting my closet. Sorry if you like it. Um, 
Ooh, I found these Dansko clogs. They're in a little bit rougher condition. I think I'm just going to put some Doc Martens Wonder Balm or whatever that stuff is and just kind of spruce them up, give them a good cleaning. Otherwise in pretty good condition. Good pricing too. I think they had them listed at $10 and I had two coupons, so I was saving money today. Another pair of Lulu pants. These are in a size 10. I may keep them for myself. I don't, you guys can't even see. They're like a tapered leg and then almost out of like a windbreaker material, but there's the Lulu on the back. And same, oh yeah, it does have a size dot. I'll have to check the style of them. These would be really good pants to wear to work in the hospital and uh, just lightweight. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I haven't decided. There's a lot of things that I'm saying I'm gonna keep and I obviously cannot keep all of these items. I need to figure out what I'm gonna sell. But the last item that I've been saving and this is my absolute favorite item. I love finding these every time I do. This is like, a guaranteed $150 to $200 sale. Can you guess what it is? Come on guys, what like always sells really good? John Fluvogs, oh my gosh, can you guys see? Yeah, so cool, how quirky are these? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to look up the style and uh, the actually the other thing that what caught me off guard was that they weren't stamped on the outside. Neither of these shoes were stamped on the outside, but the inside is very clearly John Fluvog. And they're actually like truly a wooden sole, like they're, they're wood inside here too. That's so crazy. Oh my gosh, so exciting. You can like see the quality in the tongue. So excited. I saw them sitting like this and I just thought, oh, those look like a 90s pair of shoes. I should take a look at them and grab them. And as soon as I picked them up, I was like, oh, <laughs> it was like the light shone down on me. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's my thrift haul. I spent probably about 45 minutes in there, minus the time that Jeff called me to say, where are you and where's supper, which I have not made supper. I'm still out shopping, Jeff, come on. I have things to thrift, uh, but yeah, I wasn't in there very long. It was pretty good today, not gonna lie. Happy I stopped. All right, uh, yeah, what's your favorite item? What do you think the total value that I'm gonna list these items is? because I feel like it's a pretty good haul. I am now looking for fall and winter items, even though it is May. I don't know, I'm over summer stuff already. I am over thrifting summer things. I am over summer colors, summer trends. I am ready for fall. And I feel like the fall winter season, like that September to December season is really like my biggest season anyways, where I make the most money. I'm okay starting to look for items for them. All right. I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some ideas on things that you should be looking for or thrifting or items that, you know, that I'm grabbing. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm wishing you many sales and I will see you next time. Bye.